You ever seen those faceless videos that just show Minecraft gameplay and then have a disembodied voice reading out some epic story from Reddit? Those always seem to go viral. I just figured out how to automate generating those using AI. Let me show you. All right, let's break down this flow. First, we have to make a couple of API calls. Um, we have to scrape Reddit. So I found a Reddit scraper API on Rapid API. It does have a free tier. Uh, it gives you 100 API requests per month for free, uh, which translates to 50 scrapes per month. As you can see here, it gets a lot of information too, but what we're gonna use here is the get posts from subreddit. So the very first API call is to get an access token because you need that to make other API calls. That's the one uh, of two that you'll have to make every time you wanna make a scrape. That's why it's 50 scrapes a month. Uh, and then we use that access token and we grab all the posts from a subreddit. Uh, I used Reddit Storytime for this example. Um, obviously you can use whichever one you like. Whenever you make an API call, this is gonna pull back 20 posts. So you can do whatever you want with those and we'll talk about that after the router. But next, after we make that scrape, um, this is a randomizer. So this just randomly chooses a number between one and 10. And the reason is because I have a bunch of Minecraft gameplay video links, links to videos that are inside of my Google Drive um, here. I only have 10. I actually got 40, but for the purposes of making this video quickly, I only copied down 10. So how this works is the randomizer creates a random number, and then this gets a cell. Since all of those are in the A column, it's just A, random number, between 1 and 10. And that grabs a URL to a Minecraft video. So how did I get these? Well, I actually purchased from a Facebook ad. I purchased um, a package of viral hook videos. So it was called the Viral Hooks Super Pack. Um, the company didn't have like a real name, so I can't refer you to any of it. You could maybe Google Viral Hooks Super Pack, but yeah, the company didn't have a name. I paid through PayPal some like dude. Um, anyway, but in that pack of viral video clips, there was a folder for Minecraft. And all it is is 1080 by 1920 pixels, portrait style videos of Minecraft gameplay. So this randomly chooses one. So that way, every time I run it, um, it doesn't use the same Minecraft background video every time. Now we have a router. And the reason is because, like I said, the Reddit scraper pulls 20 posts and you don't want to lose all of those. So you could actually put all of them in like a Google Drive, uh, maybe a separate sheet. Um, you could do three at a time. You could do five at a time. I'm doing three just for this uh, example, but you can actually do whatever you want with those. So that way you don't waste API calls since you only get 50 scrapes a month. If you wanted to get really creative, you could probably figure out a way to put them in a Google sheet and then figure out which ones you've already made videos for every time you run the scrape. Um, I leave that to you. For now, we're making three and I'm going to show you one. So the next step is it's going to generate the voice. It takes the text from the post and it generates a voice. Um, I'm using Google Cloud Text-to-Speech because it's free. Eleven Labs has much higher quality voices. I recommend using Eleven Labs if you're interested in paying for them. I don't pay for it, so I just used a free service. The next module is Cloud Convert. See, the file output from Google Cloud Text-to-Speech is base64, so it's a string of characters. Um, I have to turn that into a URL, and that's what Cloud Convert does. On the free tier, you get 10 conversions per day. Uh, so this just takes that file and then turns it into a usable URL. And the reason is because the next API call is for Rev AI. Rev AI is a paid service, but when you sign up, you get $6 worth of free credits, and credits are super cheap anyway. Um, so like, I'm still using my trial my sign up trial credits. Uh, anyway, what this does is it transcribes the audio file. Now, why would you want to transcribe the audio file when you already have the words from the post? The reason is because after Rev transcribes it, it can output subtitles. And that's what this is for, so you can have subtitles in the video. So you transcribe the audio file, and then there's a three minute wait to give the file time to render. And then you make another API call to Rev, and it spits out what's called SRT, which is basically just time stamped captions. Now, that is just text. It spits out just text, not a file. So again, we have to convert that into a usable URL, but we have to use a different service this time because Cloud Convert does not support SRT files, but PDF.co does. Now, PDF.co is also not free, but again, the credits are super cheap and you get some for signing up. You'll probably end up using your trial credits for a really long time there too. But this takes the SRT, turns it into an SRT file, which has a URL. That is what is needed for the Transloaded API call. So Transloaded is going to take the URL for the Minecraft video from my Google Drive. It's gonna take the URL for the audio file from Cloud Convert and the URL for the SRT file from pdf.co and mush them all together. But here's the really cool part. This particular JSON sends a set of instructions to Transloaded that also loops the video. 
So that way the audio can be however long it needs to be because this is all based on the audio, right? We are reading essentially the Reddit post and creating an audio file, but we don't know how long that's gonna be. So this will loop that Minecraft video over and over again until the end of the audio. This API call creates the video or it starts the creation of the video. Then we need to parse JSON because uh, even it's weird even when you click to parse response uh, it comes out as a glob of just json text it's not separated and you want to separate all that so we parse the json uh, and then sleep for 60 seconds because transload it needs at least 45 to 60 seconds to create the video then we fetch using the assembly id from the parsed json we fetch that video and then when we fetch it we parse that output as well and I don't have anything there because you can do whatever you want with it from there. You can take it. It's going to be a URL. You can take that URL and you can post it to your social media. You can put it in a Google Drive. You can put it in a Dropbox, whatever you want to do. But at the end of this, you will have Minecraft gameplay video looping while you hear an audio track and you see the subtitles for that audio track. And this is what that produces. My traumatizing encounter at midnight. You can skip this long, preluge paragraph, but I think it's somewhat related to my actions. The story goes like this. Me and my friend went on a cycling night ride, which turned out to be much more than just a chill night ride. We started the ride at around 9.15 p.m., chilling, recording videos. We reached our destination at around 11 p.m., we took pictures, refueled and rehydrated, it was by this time that I realized my phone was dead. We then decided to have a sleepover at our friend's house. We arrived exactly 1 a.m. The three of us chatted for a little and then I decided to grab my charger back home since it was only five minutes away. I live in a pad. A shared room with multiple people that have beds. I live there for school since it only requires a minute of walking. The pad also requires you to walk in a tight alley, a little from the main street and isn't accessible even with my bike. I arrived at the alley towards my pad and a familiar figure across the street called, Pest, 